Hello. Okay, so we are going to talk about chapter four, which is listen to your body. So the mind follows ego law and the body follows spiritual law. So the body can reflect how energies affect us vibrationally with physical signals. So this means like if things are yucky, we will kind of feel yucky. Em empathic people have this kind of already, right? You might already be feeling this already. That might be why you picked up the book, right? Uh, so tiredness, sickness, tightness, etc. So she says that if you tune in, listen, and act in a way that helps, then it will be more likely to get better and go away. But if you ignore it, then the body will turn the signal up. So it's kind of like, uh, I don't like this job. And every time I come here, I get a stomach ache. But I just keep working at this job because I don't want to get a different job. The stomach ache will turn into migraines and then the migraines will turn into like kidney stones or whatever, right? Like it'll kind of elevate uh, until you kind of get the message. Uh, but if you catch it and you're like, wow, I really do not like this place. It feels yucky. My coworkers are awful. Uh, I'm just not having a good time. I'm not having a Baja blast. <laughs> Maybe I can walk a different way. And then those symptoms that you're having, like the stomach aches or the migraines, can calm down. At least that's what she says in the book. So problems with the legs can be where you're going in life or whether or not you can stand on your own two feet. Problems with the sexual organs or end lower abdominum, abdomen, <laughs> reflect blocked creativity or absence of pleasure or sexuality. Gastrointestinal difficulties can be feeling overwhelmed, unable to stomach some situations, heart concerns, the ability to give and receive love easily, neck and throat would be speaking your truth or listening to the world with an open mind and heart, and eyes can be perception, outlook, point of view, and then the brain can be karmic secrets. So listening to the body's signals can keep you balanced and safe. She says, listen and learn. It's your body's language. The more you make it a habit, the easier it will become. So it's kind of like, you know, the, old, the book that's older now, the love languages. So it said that some two people will get together and one person's love language is words of affirmation and the other one is physical touch, right? Just as an, an example, the physical touch person will physical touch the other person because that's how they would like to receive love. That doesn't work for the words of affirmation person though. It's like, it just keeps missing, keeps missing. So this is kind of the same thing of like, you're learning your body's love language of like, I'm having a stomach ache right now. Is it the food that I ate or could it be that this job is yucky and I don't actually want to be here, right? So you're like listening to the language that your body can speak since it can't actually say, hey, quit the job, dum-dum. <laughs> so it's kind of respecting your body enough to listen to it in the language that it chooses to speak to you, right? Choosing to listen. Six sensory practice, listen to your body. You can just say, okay, I'm listening. Um, speaking bad, oh, she said speaking badly to or about your body to stop that. Uh, it says the body can hear everything you say. So you might as well say nice things and not yucky things about your body. Uh, and then if there's a physical problem, ask your body and ask your body what you can do to ease the problem. Notice how your body communicates in red and green lights. Don't dismiss what it tells you. And then sixth sensory wisdom, your body knows. What she means by red and green lights is I have a stomach ache every time I go to work. When I call in sick, I don't have a stomach ache. And then you're like, ooh, interesting. Or I feel really great when I drive on this road because I like looking at the buildings here or the shops or the barns or the cows or whatever, I feel joy when I'm going here and your body will loosen up 
and calm down. So that's like a green light, right? A red light would be like, oh, you have this tension headache every time I go to this place to hang out with these people or whatever, right? Red light, green light. She's saying just gently listen. And then I'm saying you don't even actually have to do anything about it yet. Just listen. Listen to what it says. You don't have to be like, now I can only eat vegetables. <laughs> you don't have to go like zero from a, to a hundred. You can just be like, I listened and I heard it. My body told me it was tired and I said, you're saying you're tired. We can't take a nap right now because we are at work. We will get fired and then we won't have money for food. <laughs> but later we will take a nap instead of watching TV, right? That way you're kind of in a conversation with it and not like shutting it down, being like, I can't listen to you. Work is important. That kind of thing. You're saying, okay, I hear you. Uh, you have a stomachache right now. I hear you. I'm going to see what I can do about that. What do you think I can do about that? Sometimes if your intuition is helping you or if you're open enough to your intuition, it can help you and be like, it's this place. I don't want to be here. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you on the next one.